Hello, here we are in the beautiful woods of Simsbury. We're at Stratton Brook Park, and you'll notice the beautiful trees behind me, the beautiful snow, and I'm thinking to myself, this is a great place to move and exercise. So I'm gonna back up. And here we are together in the beautiful, beautiful woods in a snowy, beautiful winter day. Remember, before you begin exercising with me, or with anybody else. You want to check with your doctor and he'll tell you exercises that you should or shouldn't do. You want to have water that you drink before, during, and after our time together. That's really, really important. Also, you want to have loose, comfortable clothes so when you move, you don't feel constricted in any way. Also, you want to have a smile on your face because that is very important. A good attitude is wonderful. And you have to remember, every time you move, you feel a little better because you get that blood and oxygen shooting to the brain and you just feel good when you move. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be going forward, backwards, and sideways. We're going to be doing little steps and big steps. You're going to have so much fun today. Yippee! Okay, so let's just begin by marching nice and easy. So we're marching, marching, we're just taking a nice little walk through the woods. We're walking through the trees. You'll see a beautiful gentle hill behind me that goes straight up. That is a great little hill and we are ready to go. So now we're marching and we're looking all around. So turn your head and look to one side. Oh, I see those beautiful trees. And then you come back to center and you turn your head to the other side and say, wow, I see those beautiful trees and everything looks just great. On a beautiful winter day, we are walking and walking and swinging our arms and having a great day. All right, now let's walk a little wider and make it a little slower because now we're walking through the woods and the snow is deep. So I'm gonna walk back in the snow big steps, and forward in the snow, big steps, back in the snow, and really pulling my knee high, and forward, good, taking big steps, I see you are too, back we go, taking big steps, pulling the knee up, good, and now we're taking steps forward, the knee doesn't come up too high, just enough so we don't get our feet stuck in the snow, Okay, let's go forward one more time and hold it here. Good job. Now, even when we lift our knee up a little higher than normal, automatically our heart rate gets up. That is so good for our heart and our brain and our lungs, yay. So now we're gonna take little tiny steps back. So we're taking little, little tiny steps back, kind of like chugging and little tiny steps forward, kind of like a little chugging train. Back we go, little tiny steps, good, and forward we go, little tiny steps, let's do it again, back, 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 and front, 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 good job, that was great, so we've gone forward and back, I'll show you from the side, so as we travel forward, we're tromping through the snow, so we have to pick our foot up over the snow and step down, up over the snow and step down, up over the snow and step down, up over the snow and step down. Now we have to go back, step back, step back, pick that heel up and step back, pick the heel up and step back. Good work. That was excellent, going forward, forward, and side to side. That is terrific. Now we're going to do a nice little step together. So we step out to the side, bring this foot together and you just touch it. You don't actually put much weight on it. Then you step over here and you touch it. And you're just touching it with the ball of the foot and step and touch. So now we're gonna go back with this. We're gonna step and we're gonna pick our foot right up over that little bit of snow. Step out to the side, pick your foot over that little bit of snow. Step out to the side, pick your foot. And we're going back the whole time. 
So make sure where you are, looking backwards, you are not going to step on anything or trip over anything. Good. Step over and over. Step over. We're going backwards. We're stepping over that little bit of snow. And now we say, we better come back home. Step over and over. So now we're doing this, stepping over and touching, and we're coming back home. Good. Step over and touch. Step over and touch. Great. So we walk backwards, step, touch in. We walk backwards, big steps. We walk backwards and forwards, little steps. So we have been doing a great job with our walking. That's so important. Now, we're going to focus on the upper body. So we bring our hands right by our shoulders with our palms facing out. As we lean in one direction, we push away. Our shoulders are back and down and we push away. We're just leaning to one side and we're pushing away. That's it. Good work. Now we're going to lean side to side and push both hands out and out and out and out. Good work. Out and out and now we're going to relax. That was excellent. Now with our feet under our hips we're going to touch out. So one foot touches out and comes in and then the other foot touches out and comes in. Make sure that when you touch out you're not going to hit anything. Come back to center. Touch out and let's do that. Out and in out and in. So you'll notice we're not shifting our body weight. All this is, is a little tiny touch out. So now we're going to add our hands. One hand follows the foot, touching out and in. That's it. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Now try both hands, touching out and in. Out and in. Good. Push away. Push away. Push away push away. That was great. You did an excellent job. Now we're going to touch out and then take a little bigger step. So we're going to touch out and when we take a bigger step we're going to bend the knee, the toe is forward and slightly out and we're going to shift the body weight. So when we touch out our body weight doesn't shift but when we take a big step out our body weight shifts. Let's come back to center. Let's try the other side. We touch out our body weight's going to shift. This toe goes forward and slightly out. And the knee tracks in the same direction as the toe. So we're going out big, in a little, and together. Let's do it again. Touch and big step out. Touch and come back in. Good. Touch and big step out. Touch and come back in. Again. Touch out and then a big step out. Touch halfway in and come in. One more time. Touch out. Big step out. There you go. That's great. Now we're going to add the arms. We're going to touch out. Hands on the thigh. Come back to center. Good work. Touch out. Excuse me. Center. Touch out. Big step out. Come back to center. Touch out. Big step, excuse me, excuse me. Touch out, big step out, come back to center. Touch out, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna have you march. <coughs> excuse me, and I'm gonna eat a little snow. So I push the top snow away and take a little chunk Mmm. That's just what I needed. Okay, I'm feeling better. Let's go back to what we were doing. Touch out. Body weight shifts. Come back to center. Touch out. Body weight shifts. Come back to center. Now you'll notice that when we step out and use our hands, we can really help upper body. As we push, we really help pushing ourselves back up. One more time. Hands on the thigh. Come right back to center. And again, touch out a little bit. Step out big 
and right back to center. Okay, that was great. That was absolutely excellent. Now we're gonna do something a lot of fun. You know how we were going forward and back? We're gonna go to the side, we're gonna come center, we're gonna go back and come front and go to the side, come center, go back and front. So if you're ready, here we go. We'll go slowly in the beginning. So let's touch to the side. One, two, three, touch, back, two, three, touch. So you'll notice that you're touching now with your left foot. So that's the first foot that's gonna step back. So you step back, two, three, and touch. Okay, touching with this foot. This is the foot that's gonna step forward first. One, two, three, and step together. Traveling, step, two, three, and touch. Now going that way, step together, step, touch. Now this time you'll notice that this foot is touching. So this is the first foot that's gonna go back. Back, two, three, touch. This foot touched, so this is the first foot that's gonna step forward. Front, two, three, step together. Let's try it again. One, two, three, and touch. One, two, three, walk back. Left, right, left, right, right, left, right, step together. Traveling, right, left, right, touch. Left, right, left, touch. Go back, right, left, right, touch. And forward, 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 step together. Let's do it again. This time we're gonna add the arm and push. Push and push, push and push. Double push, back, back, back. Front we go, step together. Now push, push and push, push. Double hands, back, two, and front, two. Good work, that was great, that was terrific. How are you feeling so far? Alrighty, so we're gonna take that whole thing and we're going to go forward and back and then sideways. We're gonna have a really good time with this. Okay, so we start from here. We're gonna walk forward and touch. Okay, forward, two, three, touch, and back, two, three, touch. So you touch with a foot that's farthest away from me. So you're gonna to travel to that side. Side together, side touch. Now come to me, stepping with that right foot. One, two, three, step together. Good. Let's travel front, leading with the right foot. Right, left, right, touch. Left, right, left, touch. Travel now. Side together, side touch. Side together, side touch. Touch. Let's go forward and lift the arms. One, two, three, touch. Back, two, three, go side. One, two, three, touch. Back, two, three, together. Good job. Let's try rolling the arms. One, two, three, touch. Go back, two, three, to the side. Side, two, three, touch. And side, two, three, touch. That was pretty complicated, but you got it. Congratulations. It's all about moving and traveling. So we were traveling and moving. Let's stretch those thighs out. So we again, we bring the heel to the buttocks. Now we're going to have some fun with this. We're going to go one, two, three, turn. We're going to go slowly. The first time we turn, we're going to go this way. And then we're going to turn to come back home. And then we're going to turn again to go this way and we're gonna turn again to come home because we love the beautiful views of outside. So if you're ready, here we go. One, two, three, turn. One, two, three, turn. One, two, three, turn. One, two, three, and turn. How'd you do? Okay, I can go slower. <laughs> 
It also helps when we're doing things like lifting a knee or lifting a heel. It helps if you have a counter or a chair in front of you, the back of a chair in front of you that you can hold on to, maybe a table. So if we slow it down, you'll definitely want something in front of you or on the side of you that you can hold on. Okay, let's try it. One, two, three, step down and turn. And then bring the heel up. One, two, three, step down and turn. One, two, three, step down and turn. One, two, three, step and turn. Good, that's great. So I think you have it, shall we try it? Okay, let's go. And this time we're gonna add the arms doing our upright walk. That's when your elbows come wide, everything stays below the shoulders, your hands come from your belly to your chest. Here we go, one, two, three, and turn. One, two, three, turn towards me. One, two, three, turn to your right. One, two, three, and turn to me. One, two, three, and done. That was excellent, you did a good job. I don't know about you, but I'm thinking my back needs a nice little stretch before we carry on. So let's do that. I'll show you from the side. We're gonna push the hips back so your knee is right over your feet and you're gonna drop the hips down a little bit. Good work. Now you're gonna pull your belly in and round your back. Good. You're gonna look right down at your toes. And then you're gonna lift your gaze and let the back arch just a little bit. Good. Push the feet down. Tuck your hips in this time, round the back, and look down at your toes. Then push the hips back, arch a little bit, and lift the head. Good, so we're gonna come right to neutral, halfway in between. Our hands are on our thighs, and I'll show you what we'll do. Hands on the thighs. We're gonna bring this shoulder over to one side, come back to center, and we're gonna bring this shoulder over to the other side. Good. And bring the shoulder to one side, keep the, this arm straight, come back to center, over to the other side, and keep this arm straight, and come back to center. Let's roll right up. Good. Now you remember what we did with our heels coming up to our buttocks. Now we're gonna pull the knee up. Remember, make it just so that it's comfortable for you. So, I'm gonna show you from the side. You can lift your knee up just a little bit. You can lift your knee up really high, but however you lift your knee, make it so it's comfortable for you. So let's just lift the knees up a little bit. You always wanna start nice and low, and then the more comfortable you get, you may wanna bring your knee high, but you might get tired, so then you might bring the knee back down a little bit. Always remembering, you're exercising with me, my exercising with you. I'm going to constantly adjust how I do things to make it so that I get the most benefit but I don't hurt myself. Okay, I know you're going to do the same. Let's try that one, two, three and turn. Here we go. One, two, three and turn. One, two, three and turn. One, two, three and turn, one, two, three and turn. Now, if the pivoting is uncomfortable for you, especially if you pivot at the ball of a foot, and if you have carpet, that might make it pretty difficult if you have a good rubber shoe. So one of the things we can do is actually take the four counts to turn around. So let's try that. Of course, we're doing our bicep curl, which is a lot of fun too because you can pretend you have a towel under your knee and you're just pulling it right up. So let's try a four count turn to the side, four counts to coming back, and then over to the other side and coming back. If you're ready, here we go. One, two, three, four. Come back, two, three, other side. One, two, three, four, and come back two, three, four. Let's do it one more time. Take your time. Remember the knee doesn't have to come up very high. One, two, 
three, four, come back, one, two, three, now turn to the other side, two, three, now come back, and one, two, three, and done. We're gonna add something more exciting. We're gonna do our four count turn and come back and then touch the toe to the side four times and then go right back into the high knees and turn. I think we can do this. Learning patterns is really good for your brain. So here we go, let's turn. One, two, three, now come back home. One, two, three, now touch to the side. One, two, three, now go back to those high knees and turn, two, three, come back home. One, two, three, and touch to the side. One, two, three, and that was a great job. I think we can do it again, but this time let's make it a little more exciting. We're going to do our high knees, but when we get over here, we're touching to the side. And then we're gonna do high knees to come back, touch to the side, high knees to turn, and touch to the side. This is very exciting and I know you can do it. Let's go, here we go. Turn, one, two, three, touch to the side. Side together, side together, side together. Lift those knees, turn to me. One, two, three, touch side. Side, side, side. It's a high knee turn. One, two, three, touch to the side. One, two, three, high knee turn. One, two, three, touch to the side. One, two, three, and now I'm not gonna count. Mm, 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 mm. Side, good, good. Bring those knees right up. Bum, 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 bum. Touch side. Bum, 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 bum. Knees up and turn. Bum, 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 bum. Touch side. Bum, 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 bum. High knee turn. Bum, 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 bum. Touch side. Bum, 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 bum. You're done. Wow, that was so much work. And you did it. You got most of the pattern. Learning patterns, really good for the brain. Okay, let's stretch out those muscles that we use. So I'll show you from the side. We bring one leg forward and there's a slight bend in your back knee. You breathe in and as you breathe out with your hands, right in the crease where your leg comes up to your torso, you're gonna lean forward and the back of the extended leg is gonna feel like it's a really nice stretch. Good, doesn't that feel great? And now we're gonna shift the body weight. We're gonna come up, shift the body weight forward, keep the back heel down. And you should feel a nice stretch on the back of the lower leg. If you can't, you can step back a little further, push the heel down, bend the front knee, and keep the hips square coming forward. And feel a nice stretch on the back of that leg. Then, and this is where you may need to hold on to something. We're gonna pick the back heel up and pull the back knee in and we're gonna take our hips and tuck them in, and then we're gonna come down and we're gonna feel a nice stretch on the thigh. So you might, might wanna hold on to something. There you go, good job. And then come back up, pull the back foot in. Now the other foot is gonna go forward. So we stay right here, but we bring the other heel forward. And then we put our hands right where our leg comes into our torso and push those hips back as we bend this back knee. We breathe in, and as we breathe out, we bring the belly down towards the thigh, but we keep the chest lifted. We really wanna feel a nice stretch on the back of that leg. Boy, I sure do. Good, that's it, that's it. Now slowly push the foot down and come up. We're gonna take this back foot, step back a little bit. Remember, our feet are hip width apart. Okay, we're gonna bend the front knee and bring our hips forward, keeping the back heel down. And remember, if you can't feel it from where your heel goes into the back of the lower leg, the calf, you might need to step back a little more, bend the front knee, and just feel that stretch. 
it is a super duper stretch. I will tell you that. And stretching our calf is so important. Now we're going to, and this is where you may need to hold on to something. You're going to pull the back heel up, pull the back knee in. We're nice and tall. We breathe in. And as we breathe out, we come down and we tuck the hips in just a little bit, just a little bit. You want to feel the stretch really on that thigh that's right underneath the hip. That's your quadricep, and this is a great quadricep stretch. Now you're going to push both feet down, come right back up, and come back to center. Great job. We're going to interlace our fingers and push our palms down and lift our chest up through. Good. Then we're going to bring the hands behind you, knuckles to the floor, and then try to pull those arms away. If you want more of a stretch, a little bitty bend in the knees, flat back comes forward a little bit. And pull those arms up just a little bit. Pay attention to how it feels. How does it feel? How does it feel? And then the hands come forward onto the thighs and sink those hips down. You'll notice the hips are going down, but they're also back. So the front knee is right over your toe. Good. And we're going to do that cat and cow. So we're going to tuck these hips in, round the back, and look down between our toes. And then we're going to push the hips back, arch the back a little bit, and look up. Breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out and round the back. Tuck the hips in. Breathe in and arch. Good, good. Good. Breathe out. Whoosh. Breathe in a great big breath. This winter air is delightful. And then slowly push those feet down and come all the way up, shoulders up and back and down. That was unbelievable. You did such a good job. So we're just going to kind of loosen everything up just by going side to side. We want everything to be loose. Now, if it's okay with your back, I'm gonna show you how to place your hands on your hips, fingers forward, and your thumbs are back. You're going to take your thumbs, which are resting on the top part of your buttocks, and there's a soft knee, so a slight bend in the knee. Push the hips forward, lift the chest up, and look up a bit. So we're not doing a back bend. You're not seeing how far back you can bend. You're simply lifting the chest up, pushing the hips forward, and pulling the elbows together behind you. This is a wonderful chest stretch. As you pull the elbows together behind you, you can feel those shoulder blades rolling together. Again, opening up this chest. Really, really good for posture. And then bend the knees, slide the hands down, go right into a nice little arch. Remember we did that. And then tuck the hips in, round the back, push the feet down, and slowly come up, shoulder rolls. Let's do a great big breath in. And as you exhale, know that all will be well. Great job, Yippee! Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.